Vivia! Vivia! Where is that girl? Indeed, Marcellus, perhaps also an opportunity. My dear tribune, it appears as though our illustrious co consul in Rome, Polonius, has run afoul of the season and is no longer in his good grace. He will soon be dispatched. Which would create a vacancy for you, Procurator. For us, ourselves, for us. The Emperor's birthday is in four days, and I plan to give him a birthday present in accordance with Roman law. Now, it is not proper to force, sacrifice a Christian, but the law does allow for retribution for one who wishes to become a Christian. Destroy the seedlings, and the crop will wither on its own. You are a man of many talents, Marcellus. Yes, we may soon be rid of this dust ball known as Carthage and return to the Roman civilization. Well, let me be the first to salute the next pro council of Rome. Do not pack your baggage train just yet, Marcellus. There's much to be done. Send your cohort out around the city tonight to make arrests. But remember, only the cat accuses, not baptized ones, leave them be. At your command.
Romans. Christians, mandata cantate. Now. Are you baptized? Yes, I am, but over there. Are you baptized? Yes. Over there with him. You are a slave. Over there. Are you baptized? No, not yet. Over there with the slave. You will come with us. Tribune, she is a patrician, the daughter of a Roman noble. I care not if she's the daughter of Caesar himself. She goes to tribunal with the slave. Now be quiet. Yes, but we are peaceful people. Then be quiet. Do not try my patience, Christian. Mandata captate. Move them out. <laughs> You are hurt. It, it is nothing. Go to your father. He would know where being held. Sister, are you well? Oh, the child appears hungry. Pomponius came last night to baptize all of us. Father paid Pudens, the guard, 100 sesterces to get you these brighter accommodations. I fear his true motives were to separate you from the influence of the others. He would pay coin to that purpose. These do not feel brighter. These feel the darkest I've ever felt. Father will be here presently. Perhaps I should take your son to mother. He no longer needs his mother's milk. and He does not belong in this illustrious palace. Have you thought of your fate? Pomponius told me to pray for him, for guidance. And I had a vision, a dream. A gold ladder appeared before me. It was narrow and ascended to heaven. On either side, there were symbols of war, axes, swords, to keep you on the right path. At the bottom, there was a serpent to keep you from going back. But that didn't stop me. As I ascended, I saw Felicitas and all of our friends. They had gone before us. Even our little brother, who was gone. He wasn't disfigured. In fact, he was perfectly healthy. There was an old man, a shepherd, with a white beard, who had called me daughter. He had fed me the sweetest of foods, and when I had awoken, I could still taste the sweetness on my lips. Do you understand the meaning of this vision, sister? Yes. We are all to be martyred. Have pity on this gray head. 
Have pity on me, your father, if I deserve to be called your father, if I have favored you over all your brothers, if I have raised you to reach this prime of your life. Give up your pride, daughter. Father, do you not see this container? The vase? Can that be called anything other than what it is? No, it is a vase. Same with me. I cannot be called anything other than what I am. And I am a Christian. Are there no real Romans left in this family? Your mother, your brother, and now you? The tribunal begins to mortal. Make the sacrifice, girl. Do not shame this family. Father! Get away from me. Exodus. Has tribunal begun? What fate awaits? The all given word that I have not given. You are the last. They will not ask me for a second part. I am a slave. They will reflect now for you. They cannot harm you. You are with child. It's against Roman law. I am still concerned for you. It is not easy. It is of no concern. So the Roman do whatever they do. I'm a slave. The baby, she will be saved. She? Vivia. In all God's creation, there is only for one issue of God. You must take care of the one named Vivia protection. Vivia of the House of Perpetua, Mendata Captate. Girl, think of your gray haired father and that of the child. Make the sacrifice. I cannot. Think of your baby boy, daughter. Make the sacrifice. Silence him. Then I will ask you, do you accept the deities of Rome and that of Caesar? I will not. Are you a Christian? Yes, 
I am a Christian. And I sentence you to death in the arena tomorrow by beast and by soul. Pick them out. Start with the slave. Sister, I bring news. Where's father? He has chosen not to see me. In his grief, he had pulled all of the gray from his beard. I grieve him. As do I. Vivia, all of our friends been taken to the arena to be martyred. You are the last. Lucidus! Lucidus! She's with the child, they cannot- Vivia! Vivia, listen. Felicitas had a baby girl last night with some difficulty. She knew it was going to be a girl. They are where they're supposed to be. And I where I'm supposed to be. Do not come, brother. I am at peace. I must take my leave. They are coming for me.
signal the gladiator. Stand fast in your faith, and love one another, all of you, and be not offended at my sufferings. Confitable.